Hello fellow kick comrades, before we continue with the tutorial, I just wanted to thank you for our first ever 100 subscribers on YouTube. I'm really glad that people are finding the tutorials useful and I hope that they are helping you out at least a little bit on your kick journey. I've had many people stop by on to stream recently and ask me, Vortexiel, how do you get to show your followers and your activity feed on your stream? Like this, the servers are just not handling it. Oh holy shit, see what she... My friends, to be clear, there is currently no bot and no official way of doing this. However, I had come up with kind of a DIY solution that I have been using for the last 3 months and so far it has been working pretty much flawlessly for that whole time. So I'm going to show you the way that I personally do it. On kick.com, simply navigate to the profile icon in the top right, go to your creator dashboard, and this is the part of the website that shows you all of the followers, subscription, all of that. I wish that they'd made a direct link just to this part of the web page, but as of now that doesn't exist. So the only way to make this show on your stream, you simply copy the link to this website, which is kick.com slash dashboard slash stream, go to your OBS, hit this little plus button and choose to add a browser source. I like to name it activity feed. Hit OK. Enter the URL, in this case kick.com slash dashboard slash stream. It doesn't have to include your username, but you may have to log in. I will show you how to do that afterwards. I like to make the width and height the same resolution as your stream. Majority of people will have 1920 by 1080. For me, it's 2560 by 1440. And then hit the OK button. You will see your streaming dashboard show up on your stream. And what you need to do is select the source and hold down your ALT button. With your ALT button held down, you can crop down on the part of the website that only shows the activity feed, like this. Then you can increase it in size until you find a size that you're comfortable with. And I like to move it to the corner like this. Before we go any further, click on the properties of your activity feed and choose control audio via OBS. Because this is a browser source to the actual stream dashboard, if you don't mute the audio, then you're going to be hearing yourself whenever you're streaming. So make sure to mute it. And if you don't want it to take up space on your audio mixer, simply click the three buttons and choose hide. One issue that you may run into while doing this is that in your activity feed, you will notice that it doesn't go to your streaming dashboard it just brings you to the default page of Kik. This happens if you are not logged in on the website. To fix this, right click the activity feed, hit interact, and this lets you to click anything on the website at all. Click on login and login with your account. Once you are logged in, it will take it a moment to load. If it doesn't load, you can simply close it, right click it again, go to properties, and refresh the cage of the current page. As you can see, this is a glitch that can happen because in our case it did not actually fix it. If this happens to you, you can simply close OBS and reopen it simply. Now that you have relaunched it, the website should load correctly with you logged into it, as you can see. I do have a secondary kick account called example account just for testing purposes. And it's nice to test it before you go live to make sure that the cropping is okay. In this case, we don't really need the timestamp. So you can hit out again and crop it out. You can also increase the size a little bit. And if you only wanted to show the last three follows, you can also crop down the bottom part like this. But you may be saying to yourself, Vortexio, this is ugly. There is this ugly gray background and I don't like the green hearts because it doesn't go with the theme of my stream. To fix this, simply right click the activity feed, go to filters, hit the plus button and add a color correction filter. Bring down the gamma until the background becomes completely black. Then add another filter for a color key. Choose custom and simply set it to black. This is going to remove the background completely. You can play around with the smoothness and similarity if you would like to, just to get it lo looking a little bit cleaner. And if you would like to customize the color of the green hearts, you can simply play with the hue shift in the color correction filter like this and make it any color that fits the theme of your stream. In this case, I feel like orange is pretty nice. And now you can move it anywhere on your screen you would like to. You can increase the size 
And now whenever someone follows you, it's going to show up as many times as you would like it to. And then you can simply crop it whenever you want to increase or decrease the size by holding down Alt. And of course, it's not professional and a bit of a clunky DIY way to make it happen. However, it has been working for me personally for the last three months without any issues. So my friends, I hope it works for you as well. Thank you for watching the tutorials and I kiss you. Mm -hmm.